In a losing effort, few players deserve less of a blame than Jay Higgins against Iowa State or any team. Jay is consistent, consistently the leading tackler, has been for both of Iowa's first two games, does everything right on and off the field, had 11 tackles and an interception against the Cyclones, and still, as team captain, he is the one stepping forward and taking responsibility for the 75-yard touchdown pass to Jalen Knoll, taking ownership for a loss that really should not fall on him at all. That's what you expect out of a guy who's in his fifth year on the program and has stepped into a role as captain for every game over the last two years. If I was a betting man, the Suns probably be up tomorrow. Uh, so you just got to keep going to work. You know, you don't can't can't quit when you when you're competitor. This stuff like this happens. Um, the good ones get on their feet and they, they keep fighting. The bad ones, they'll just stay down. Jay took ownership on his part, and that shows a lot because I think he played a hell of a game, and still like he took ownership of his part. So each person, like I specifically remember, like four or five plays where I like messed up, messed up my assignment, and like I feel like I let the team down, you know. And I think that's good that every person does that. You know, you've seen it with Jack Campbell. Now you're seeing it with with Jay. Those are the guys you want to watch and try to model yourself after. And um, I've said this during the summertime, Jay's kind of like the anti-modern college day football player. You know, he didn't run off when Jack was starting in front of him. He learned, kept working, and he learned from Jack. And I think it's really paid off for him last year, and it's paying off this year already. Higgins is a leading tackler for the Hawkeyes with 17 tackles this season. They're back in Kinnick for their final non-con game on Saturday against Troy. And when